Do you have taste for the finer things in life? Do you love spending time on the water but want to do it in style? Then this video is for you. We're about to show you some of the most luxurious new modern yachts money can buy. From sleek and sexy design to cutting edge technologies. These boats have it all. So sit back, relax and enjoy as we take you on a tour of the most luxurious yachts around. Let's get started. Number 9. Musashi, $160 million. The first yachts on this list is the $160 million Musashi, which is named after a renowned Japanese samurai. This 88 meter super yacht is operated by none other than the iconic tech billionaire Larry Ellison, and although it may appear graceful externally, its interiors reshape the term. It has a gym, a spa, a basketball court, a cinema, and a host of other facilities and services that makes cruising an amusement ecosphere. Like just about every other yacht, there is an open air top deck for relaxing and enjoying the sunshine. The primary deck is divided into 9 cabins that comfortably accommodate 18 guests, and the lower deck is divided into 10 cabins that accommodate 23 crew members. Despite owning at least 3 other yachts, Larry Ellison has chosen to make Musashi his home. Built in 2010 by renowned Dutch shipbuilders Feedship and skillfully created by devoked naval architects, Musashi is one of the sleekest yachts presently at sea, and despite having a volume of 2,436 tons, it can still move at insanely high speeds of 21 knots. There is no denying Larry Ellison's admiration for super yachts, and while the Musashi is evidence of this, the next yacht on the list makes the Musashi appear to be a lavish toy boat in comparison. Number 8. Al Merkab, $250 million. Al Merkab is one of the biggest and has justly been named the second most magnificent yacht in the world. It features 10 luxurious suites that can suit up to 24 guests, and each has its own shower, living room, and double bedroom. Sheikh Hamad bin Jasim bin Jabbar Al Thani. The former Prime Minister of Qatar is the yacht's owner. Nobody knows when Sheikh Hamad purchased this opulent beauty. We only learned about it thanks to the contentious Panama Papers. The Sheikh has two opulent VIP rooms, and the crew has an expansive 55 rooms for their residents. The ship also has an onboard movie theater, sun deck, swimming pool, helipad, several outdoor bars, a jacuzzi, and a number of other amenities. The yacht is impressively propelled by four Varsilla DSL electric engines, which allow her to cruise at 14 knots and reach a maximum speed of 18 knots. She also has a range of more than 5,000 nautical miles. Number 7. Radiant Yacht $286 million No one likes to spend like the Arabs, and every sector they've chosen to take part in has benefited from their extravagant kindness. So it's not shocking that a member of the Emirates family owns a $286 million yacht called Radiant. The member is none other than billionaire Abdullah Al Futaim. Radiant is a 361 foot long behemoth by the volume of 5,027 tons. It also boasts a steel hull and an aluminum superstructure. The world famous German super yacht builder Lursen was the mind behind this juggernaut, which has a swimming pool, beach club, screening room, fitness center, jacuzzi on deck, and massage room. It can also accommodate 20 guests and 44 crew members. Apart from its luxurious amenities, the yacht's most striking characteristic has to be its extremely potent water cannon, which is used to repel hijackings. It also has a helicopter helipad for its owner to make an emergency getaway in the style of Hollywood. The late Russian oligarch Boris Berezovsky was the intended buyer of the yacht Radiant and Abdullah Al Futaim only acquired it when the billionaire encountered some political and monetary difficulties that some have speculated contributed to his demise. Number 6. Serene $400 million with 8 MTU diesel marine engines giving her a top speed of 18 knots and playing her at a maximum speed of 14 knots, Serene is 439 feet long and has a scope of more than 5,000 nautical miles. While she no longer holds that title, Serene is still among the most opulent ships in the oceans. 
When Serene was finished and handed back in 2011, she was among the 10 largest yachts in the world. She is a super yacht, so it should come as no surprise that the billionaire crown prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, acquired her. Curiously, this boat was initially conceived for another Russian billionaire, Vodka Mogul Yuri Scheffler. The vessel is rumored to have cost Prince Salman a whopping $500 million when he purchased it. Today, it is now thought to be worth only $400 million. Okay, enough of that. Let's talk about the decor. Serene can accommodate 24 guests and 52 crew members in coziness. She has one hella hangar, a snow room, a spa with a sauna, a climbing wall, and yes, multiple decks of water slides. There is no denying the luxury of this ship. Number 5. Project Wise 721 500 million dollars When it is finally launched, the 417 foot megastructure, which has cost 500 million dollars in counting, will reportedly have three enormous sails, a massive exterior structure, and a multitude of other facilities that haven't been officially confirmed. It currently has several decks. This yacht is owned by Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, and although it hasn't been finished yet, it's rumored to have cost him $500 million. However, anything is possible. However, we do know that once it is ready, Wise 721 will have space for 18 passengers in addition to the crew, and there will be access to jet skis, pleasure craft, and a helicopter pad. The last aspect makes perfect sense given that Bezos' current girlfriend is a certified helicopter pilot. But that's not all. Bezos' yacht has also been dogged by controversy, which has slowed down production. When the residents of Rotterdam learned that their iconic De Hef bridge would be demolished to make way for Bezos' yacht, this sparked outrage and temporarily halted her launch date. Will the Bezos yacht ever be finished? Currently, we are unsure, but we do know that the another ship on the list costs a little bit more than the Project Y721. Number 5. MYA Plus Yacht $527 million Can you imagine who paid the absurd amount of $527 million for this magnificent creature? A Plus is a magnificent beast that is 483 feet long, has 8 decks, can accommodate 4 52 guests in 26 staterooms and can accommodate 72 crew members in 40 cabins. Before it was given this undecipherable name, the MYA Plus was actually known as the Topaz Yacht. Sheikh Mansour Al Nayan, the Deputy Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates, the Minister of President Affairs, and a respected member of the Royal Family of Abu Dhabi, has a net worth of $20 billion. So the acquisition makes sense, right? The A Plus, like the Al Markab, is propelled by Varsila diesel electric engines. Despite its enormous size, the yacht can travel at a maximum of velocity of 19 knots and an average speed of roughly 12 knots. You might also be interested to know that Sheikh Monzor devotes $50 million per year to operate the ship, which has a swimming deck, a sizable jacuzzi, a fitness center, and two helicopter landing pads on the facade of this contemporary wonder with a steel displacement hull and an aluminum mega structure. Number 3. Rising Sun $590 million I don't know why this boat is called Rising Sun, but I must say it lives up to the market value. The ship was once owned by Larry Ellison before David Geffen bought it from him. Since then, Rising Sun has been firmly established among the most opulent yachts. It features a gym, spa, sauna, basketball court, and a few jacuzzis. The late John Benenberg developed the Rising Sun, which was constructed by the German master shipping building company, shipbuilding company Lursen. Larry Ellison originally sold the yacht because he thought it was too large and I don't chastise him. The exquisite beast is 500 454 feet long, weighing 7,841 tons, and runs between 25 and 45 million dollars per year. The ship can cater 16 passengers and has a staff of over 45. Over the years, notable guests have included Leonardo DiCaprio, Julia Roberts, Steven Spielberg, J.J. Abrams, and Sir Paul McCartney. In fact, the ship is named Rising Sun for a reason. Number 2. 
Azam. $600 million. The second largest yacht in the world is the Azam, which measures an incredible 590 feet and is one of the world's su fastest super yachts. Extending speeds of up to 30 knots, the Azam is propelled by a mixture of different gas turbines and two diesel engines, producing a combined 94,000 horsepower, making it a bundle of pleasant contrasts. It's ironic that the most expensive yacht in the world is not the biggest, but a $600 million price tag is not something to laugh at. The yacht is shipbuilder Larson's crowning glory and is supposedly their most complicated megastructure ever. The fact that the President of the United Arab Emirates and Emir of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan, is the owner of this absurdly large ship should come without a shock. However, the most notable aspect of the Azam is its nearly indestructible master suite and missile defense system. Number 1. Eclipse $1.5 billion The behemoth has two helicopter pads, 24 guest cabins, two swimming pools, several hot tubs, a disco hall, and a three-person submarine. I reckon you didn't see the three-person personal submarine coming. Despite being rumored to have cost $700 million to build, Eclipse has been flamboyantly priced from $800 million to about $1.5 billion recently, probably due to political stain relations. But let's say it's actually worth $1.5 billion. Does Abramovic's Eclipse live up to its price tag? Before Azam came along and snagged the title away, Eclipse, a 536-foot yacht built by Hamburg's Blam & Voss, held the title of the largest yacht in the world. I'll ask you again, is this yacht worth a billion and a half dollars? Eclipse is also one of the most technologically sophisticated yachts in the world. It has motion detectors, bulletproof glass, and anti-ballistic defense systems. More intriguingly, it also has an anti-paparazzi sensor that monitors digital cameras and uses infrared lasers to prevent any probable pictures of the yacht. Pretty wild, huh? Which one of these luxury mega yachts is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Luxury. Like, comment, and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on future videos. See you in the next one.